so crazy hot here. It's supposed to be 95 degrees today, which is definitely not the normal temperature for springtime. Usually we're about 70, maybe we hit a couple of 80 degree days, but it's supposed to be in the mid 90s all week long, which the sunflowers behind me are really enjoying the weather and the grass in our yard is loving the warm days. But the stuff that I planted in the garden for a spring crop is definitely not loving any of this heat. So I think that I've decided that I'm just going to uproot the things that I had planted for spring and just kind of transition into our summer garden instead. I've already transplanted some of the tomato seedlings that I had going and those are in the pools in the garden area. Um, but as far as everything else goes, I'm going to go ahead and start from seed. Some different varieties of cucumbers. I'm going to do some pole beans. I'm going to do a couple varieties of squash. I think I'm going to do a butternut and a winter squash. Um, our neighbor across the street, he is amazing at gardening and he always supplies us with yellow squash and zucchini. So I'm not going to plant those in our pool garden. I'm going to try the different varieties. I think that I'm going to try some pumpkins this year. and. Um, I also am going to throw out a couple of seeds uh, of flowers. I was able to save last year some snapdragon seeds, and I'm gonna see if I can get those to grow from seed. Like I said, have said before, I'm not really, um, or I've never really planted flowers from seeds. This is the first year that I've done that, and I did some marigolds earlier in the year, and those are growing. I'll show you guys those here in the pool garden in just a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and also try the snapdragon seeds. So. I'm excited to go ahead and transition into the summer garden, although I'm a little bit saddened that we didn't really get a harvest from what I had planted for spring. We were able to get a bunch of kale and there are some radish, radishes still in the garden that I'm gonna pull up here in just a minute before I plant some of these other things and I'll show you guys those. Um, but anyway, that's the plan for today. Um, uh, my dog over here is chasing flies. He loves to chase flies. So if you hear him, that's what he's doing. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's the plan for today. So the pools where you see nothing in them, that is where I'm planning to plant some of the cucumbers and the squashes. The calendula flowers that I have going are doing really well too. Check these guys out, they're huge. I don't really know much about calendula flowers, but they are getting really big. I'm in the pool garden area right now and I wanted to show you guys the one area where we were not able to cut off a branch from the neighbor's tree and this part of the garden is still shaded. It's been kind of a little bit of a blessing in disguise because it has provided us with an area to plant some of those things that just wither in the intense heat that we've been having. So for example, I had to re-transplant my strawberries that I had in the pool bed because they were just shriveling up in the heat that we were getting. So I moved them over into this shaded area and so far they've been doing really well here. So I'm hoping that they will continue to do well here in this little bit of shade. Um, the grape behind me is doing really well. It's starting to produce little grapes on there and the mint is doing well back here as well as the lavender. But overall, I'm so happy that we were able to cut off the tree branches on either side. It has opened up so much more sunlight to our garden area, and I'm hoping that it will help the things to grow and thrive over there. So I will show you guys that here in just a minute. I went ahead and I uprooted all of the spring vegetables that I had going, the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, 
almost all of the cabbage. The only thing that I left is I left one bed of cabbage that is partially shaded and that's just more for an experiment to see if I can get it to produce anything in the heat that we have going on. So that's all that I left. Everything else is ready to start planting. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the winter squash and then the butternut squash. and recruited some helpers to help me get the rest of the garden planted. It's so important to let the kiddos get in there and get their hands dirty and teach them how to grow food as well too. to the pool garden that we have going on I'm also trying to grow watermelon in these pots and I'm hoping to grow them out of the pots and then vine them around the garden area the potatoes are doing well in the crates that I made for them I've had to mound them up twice now and they are still going so hoping to get some potatoes out of these guys All in all, we had a pretty successful day. We uprooted the spring vegetables that we didn't need anymore or that it's just getting too hot for them. And we were able to plant most of the summer vegetables that we were wanting to in the pool beds behind me. I'm super excited to see how these pool beds work out for us. This will be the first official year that we're gardening mostly in pools. And so it's kind of an experiment year, which is a little exciting for me anyways. Um, so if you are interested in pool gardening and you want to follow along to see how it goes for us, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That way you don't miss out on the adventure of pool gardening. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!